Hi guys, this is editorial analysis for 5th November 2016. Let's go to the first one. This is one topic uh, that was there in all the newspapers. It basically says that an interministerial committee of information and broadcasting it has asked the NDTV Hindi news channel to be to be taken off air for 24 hours as a punishment for broadcasting sensitive information of anti-terror operations during the Pathan Kot attacks. Like they revealed the location of ammunition depot, details of arms cache and fighter planes, details of schools and residential areas around the air base. So basically, all these editorials in the newspapers, they were criticizing the government for curbing the freedom of press. Um, but uh, you know, we need to be extra cautious after what happened in uh, 26/11. the uh, all the news channels were providing live coverage of what is happening and that was helping the terrorists to plan the event so i don't think um, um we need to criticize the government on this like if it is important for our national security then why not let's move on to the second uh, editorial this was also there in all the newspapers so i'm just uh, presenting a um, gist of it it basically says that gst council they have finally agreed on the tax structure of gst and it's going to be a four tier tax structure and the rates of taxation are going to be 5% 12% 18% and 28% so firstly uh, there there there're going to be two standard rates 12 percent and 18 percent that are going to apply to most of them most of the items now out of the 5 percent 12 percent 18 percent and 28 percent lower rates are going to be there for essential uh, items and highest rates are for luxury and demerit goods uh, luxury and demerit goods will also attract a uh, they will attract an additional cess secondly um essential items including food and all they will be taxed at zero rate thirdly white goods which are tv fridge ac etc they will be taxed at 28% fourthly the highest tax will be on items which are currently taxed at around 30 to 31% fifthly uh, demerit goods and luxury goods which are basically cars pan masala aerated drinks tobacco etc they will be taxed at tax at 28% plus cesses and these cesses could range from 40 to 65%. Sixthly, uh, there is no uh, consensus uh, yet on the rates of gold. Uh, so uh, gold uh, GST rates have not been decided. And seventhly, uh, the cess on the luxury and demerit goods plus clean energy cess will go to compensate states for revenue loss for 5 years. so that's um that's on gst rates that's pretty much it for today thank you